Once viewed as an outpost, this centuries-old border community between the United States and Canada now heavily patrolled and monitored with the very latest technology. The stepped-up security is thanks to heightened concern over terrorism and people crossing illegally and without record. For decades, the two communities of Stansted in Canada and Derby Line here in the United States functioned as one community. But in recent years, that's changed as we found out when we took the wrong street and were briefly detained by Canadian officials for illegal entry. Richard Grolot has lived in his house on the Canadian side of Lee Street for 37 years. It's right next to the border. A gate now spans the street and cameras point from both directions. Sensors were even attached to his trees. If I even go across my wall, property wall now, the cameras there, the signals are there, and the Border Patrol will be there. It's a sacrifice he's now used to in the post 9-11 era. It may be prevention. Well, I don't like it necessarily, but I have to live with it. If I want to live safely, I guess, that I, I have to expect it. The border agreement between the U.S. and Canada will result in the government sharing more information on who's coming and going along the world's longest border. It's raised privacy issues in Canada as its citizens are not protected by U.S. privacy laws. Something that was never an issue back when Haskell Free Library and Opera House was opened 110 years ago. It was purposefully built on the border as a show of community. The divide marked along the floor amid the reading tables and book stacks. And today there's uh, certainly a lot more separation. Um, y people uh, don't n interact quite as much socially. So it, it really the library is one of the last community institutions where, where this happens. And it doesn't matter what side of the border they come from. With the new border agreement and possibly even tighter security and tracking, maintaining this community might become even more difficult. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Derby Line, Vermont.